Wolverine is in Benghazi, Libya, checking out a port that's known for illegal stuff. He's following shipments of special ceramics from Madripoor, and materials from India. This mix of goods has caught Wolverine's interest, and it seems like someone might be in trouble because of it. He fights and defeats a guard at the port. The guard had a torn shirt with a Hydra emblem, showing a link to the secretive organization. In Barjnov, Rumakistan, Deadpool tells deceased Cable about a statue made for him. Deadpool jokes, that the sculptors were a bit too generous with the intimate parts of the statue. However, he mentions that people liked it a lot, and left flowers when it was revealed last week. There's also a hint about a special techno-organic feature in the sculpture. Deadpool is upset that someone, probably Cable, hasn't come back after a few weeks. He makes fun of possible excuses like time travel or cloning. Cyclops, the leader of the X-Men, interrupts, saying he's there to pay respects, like a father for a fallen son. Deadpool knows that Cyclops is Cable's father, but he thinks their relationship is kind of tricky and not straightforward. Deadpool tells Cyclops, he should have helped Cable earlier. Cyclops says it was complicated. They talk about Cable's importance, and Deadpool thinks Cyclops should have been there for his son. Cyclops agrees and wants to make things right, asking Deadpool to help the X-Men. In New York, Deadpool tells Sandy that the X-Men won't help, because when Wolverine gets involved, things get messy. Bob is happy they were rescued before facing Wolverine, Hydra's main enemy. Deadpool says Cyclops picked him because he can break in fast. Agent X wonders why Wolverine cares about the situation. Deadpool explains Wolverine hates Hydra, and keeps an eye on them to make sure they don't cause trouble. Since Deadpool's raid on a Hydra facility, a new boss is in charge, and Wolverine is investigating. Bob, their teammate, has no info on the new boss. Deadpool reveals that Wolverine is tracking Hydra shipments to Bob's base. Sandy suggests letting Wolverine handle it, but Deadpool refuses, because their friend Weasel is still a prisoner at the Hydra base. Deadpool feels the need to get involved to save Weasel, and prevent chaos from Wolverine's actions. At the Hydra base, Weasel is dressed in a heroic costume, ready to unveil a device called the Penetrator. A Hydra soldier doubts it, but Weasel assures them it will work. Weasel introduces the device with a Hail Hydra, presenting it as a tool for attacking anyone at will. A Hydra soldier thinks the name is too provocative. Weasel says, they'll use it to advance Hydra's agenda by infiltrating civilization. Weasel ends with a Hail Hydra. Weasel tells them to send a brave person through the penetrator at the Hydra base. But a Hydra soldier changes the plan, and pushes Weasel into the device. To everyone's surprise, it works. Weasel is shocked at first, but then says thank goodness it worked, confirming the success of the device. Weasel, the guy who used to be locked up by Hydra, made a cool teleportation thing. He wants to upgrade it, and make an army of teleporting fighters. Now, Hydra thinks they're super powerful and can take over the world. Weasel is sure that no one can stop them now. Deadpool and Bob are watching a situation, where Wolverine is causing trouble. Deadpool wants to stop Wolverine, before he accidentally hurts Weasel. Bob is worried about getting involved, but Deadpool says he might use Bob as a backup plan, trading him for Weasel if things get really bad. Bob is not happy about this, and Deadpool tries to reassure him, hoping to keep both Bob and Weasel safe. Wolverine quietly goes through a door, making sure not to make noise. He takes out two Hydra soldiers quickly and silently. Wolverine smells something weird, and then there's a big explosion. The blast sends Hydra soldiers flying through the air. Deadpool respects Bob for a brave strategy, of risking himself to protect Deadpool. Bob identifies himself to avoid getting shot. Meanwhile, Hydra soldiers discuss the attack, and express concern about Deadpool being a significant threat. Weasel acknowledges the challenge and realizes the urgency of the situation, especially against an attacker like Deadpool. Deadpool is looking for his friend Weasel, and threatens to kill everyone until he finds him. One of the Hydra soldiers, barely conscious, says that the Penetrator will save us. Just then, Weasel appears, calling himself the Penetrator, and threatens to teleport Deadpool away if he doesn't stop the violence. Deadpool asks about the Penetrator, and Weasel says, he can use his armor's teleportation matrix to get into places, so that's why he's called the Penetrator. Deadpool, with a determined look, holds two guns and relentlessly attacks Hydra soldiers. Bullets fly as the soldiers suffer from Deadpool's assault. Deadpool and Weasel are about to leave when Weasel asks, if Deadpool recognized him, even with the Penetrator armor. Deadpool confirms he did. Weasel then alerts Deadpool to someone behind him, who turns out to be Bob. Deadpool considers Bob a friend, clarifies that Bob was more like a minion held hostage for trading. Deadpool brushes it off, and urges them to leave quickly. Bob hears a sound from training class, that makes him want to run, but his injured leg prevents him. Wolverine comments on Deadpool's logo in the caption box. Deadpool tells Wolverine that Cyclops sent him, and suggests they all leave together, get some drinks and food, and take a break from the Hydra situation. Wolverine uses his metal claws to slice Deadpool's head, instantly killing him. Everything seems to stop for a moment. Bob and Weasel stand frozen, 
their eyes wide with shock. Before them, Deadpool's head lies on the ground, cut off by Wolverine's. Wolverine stands close by, his claws covered in blood, he looks really furious and determined as he asks, who's up next? 